Hello, guys. Thank you for joining our Chrome Mini Workshop. Today, we will talk about how to make denim washing effect on our virtual denim garment. We will divide our workshop into two parts. For the first part, we will use denim jacket as an example to demonstrate how we create denim fabric and also the denim details. We will also cover the colorway part to manage the color combination for our design. And for the second part, we will use denim skirt as an example to talk about some advanced denim details and how we manage the weather setting to output the final product image. So let's start now. Here is the base form of my denim jacket. So my next step is to create denim fabric and assign on it. As we know that denim fabric have two different textures on front and back side. So before we create our own denim fabric, we have to prepare two different texture image first. In our material menu, we can change different texture for each side of our fabric. We can assign texture image for front side of denim fabric first. Simply drag and drop the texture image to the texture bar. And adjust the normal map by moving the intensity bar to express the uneven texture of our fabric. Don't forget to change the physical property of our fabric in Daniel. After finish the setting for our front side diamond fabric, now we can move to back menu to assign different texture for back side denim fabric. Turn off the setting, use same material as front, and then we can change our back side texture now. Don't forget to delete the previous normal map and update again. Now, I will duplicate the denim fabric and make it as a double side texture. Turn on the setting, use same material as front to synchronize the front side and back side texture. Assign the double side fabric on some design details like muffles, trim, collar, pockets, and even cups. Next, let's talk about how to add denim texture on the buttons. Double click the button in Object Browser menu. You will see the texture and normal map bar in Property Editor. We can just simply drag and drop the denim texture into the texture bar. And also adjust the normal map by moving the intensity bar. If the texture image scale not same with the garment texture image, you can also change the texture image size in transformation menu. To achieve more realistic results, we can also adjust the seam property for our denim garment. We can use Edit Sewing Tool to change the seam line intensity. Take an example of these two seam lines. The left hand side one will keep the intensity as default 10. The right hand side one will change it as 80. So this is the way that how we emphasize the seam line texture by changing the seam line intensity. Now I will select all the seam line by holding Ctrl and A on my keyboard and change all the seam line intensity to 80.
Next, let's talk about top stitch. In Chrome, we can use different top stitch tool to edit or add top stitch on our garment. In this project, I have already added some single top stitch on my denim jacket. Here, a tip want to share with you guys. Sometimes when we create top stitch on gathers, pleat, or greased surface, the top stitch may not be follow the fabric surface smoothly. In this case, we can change our top stitch type into texture to fix this issue. With our top stitch style, we can also change the thread thickness and color based on our design. Change the configuration if needed. Once we change the face as both, our top stitch will be shown in both sides of our fabric. Now, I will demonstrate how to add top stitch and also change the top stitch style. By using our free top stitch tool, I can add the new top stitch on the placket. I can also assign the new top stitch style by added top stitch tool. Double click the new top stitch style and change the stitch count in two to make it as a double top stitch. And of course, we can keep to use the same material, but only change the top stitch distance only. We can move to the puckering part. We can add puckering for seam line and internal line by different puckering tools. In this project, I have already added puckering on double seam line parts. So double click the puckering settings. You can change the puckering material type in denim. If you want to make a more realistic denim look by washing effect on the seam line, you can also add the texture image for the puckling texture and change the color in Daniel Blue. We can also customize the puckling width. Try to add more puckling texture on different parts of the garment. It will help to create different washing event look. We can also change the puckling fit direction by using Edit Puckling tool. More puckling texture we add, more variation of washing effect we can play with. We can also try to add more graphics on the denim fabric to make our design more interesting and more fashionable. We can use the texture editor tool.
So once we open the texture editor, we can simply drag and drop the graphics image into the texture editor menu. And adjust the setting of the graphics. For example, to repeat pattern, desaturation, and even the blend mode. We can also check and fine tune the repeat unit in the texture editor. To create more color combination for our styles, we can even go to our color rework mode and change the texture or color or graphics directly in the color editor. Just select the color you want to edit. And go back to texture editor to change the new fabric texture but still keep the repeat graphics. Don't forget to update the normal map when we change the texture image. We can also try with the desaturation function to make our jacket in girly pastel color. And change the graphics if you want the new design. In colorway work mode, we can also change the multi-top stitch color at the same time. So let's play with different texture and make more design as you want. This is the end of our part 1 mini workshop. Don't forget to like our video and also subscribe our club channel. Hope you guys enjoy and goodbye.